Speaker Nancy Pelosi's recent visit to Taiwan precipitated the largest set of Chinese military exercises in the Taiwan Strait in the last 20 years. China's recent actions, along with Russia's invasion of Ukraine, have led many Americans to reconsider their stance on military support for foreign conflicts. Should America remain involved with Taiwan? And should we defend it if China were to invade? Our overriding objective is peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. To that end, the United States does not support unilateral changes to the status quo by either side. We oppose any actions by China to invade, blockade, or otherwise impose unification by force. But we also oppose a unilateral declaration of independence by Taiwan. Until recently, Beijing pursued a two-track strategy of trying to win over Taiwanese public support for unification through closer economic and people-to-people -people ties, while at the same time building up a military deterrent to prevent unilateral declaration of independence. But under Xi Jinping's leadership, Beijing appears, perhaps, to have shifted goals from deterring independence to compelling unification within a finite period of time. The Chinese Communist Party under Xi Jinping views Taiwan as an existential issue. It is committed to eventual unification, and with Xi Jinping beginning his third term as leader of the country and the party, he may view Taiwan as a legacy issue that has to be resolved before he leaves power. How do the Taiwanese feel about unification? Well, public support on the island is very, very low. Support for unification now or at some point in the future used to be high, as high as 20%. But with the PRC's recent failed efforts to influence Taiwan's elections and the military drills that have been held around the island, that support has fallen down to around 6%. As Beijing appears to be moving up its timetable for taking control of Taiwan, it is reasonable to ask, should the United States remain committed to Taiwan's defense? And if so, how? Well, there are at least four reasons why the United States should remain committed to Taiwan's defense. First, Taiwan is a longtime ally of the United States, and it is our 10th largest trading partner. To put that in some perspective, Ukraine last year was 67th. Taiwan is also a major supplier of the world's most advanced semiconductor chips, and we saw the negative economic impacts of supply chain disruption during COVID, when even relatively minor shortages of chips occurred. The consequences of China seizing, destroying, or blockading Taiwanese exports, those consequences would be enormous for the global economy and for Taiwan's people and the people of the United States. Second, there is Taiwan's strategic geographic location in the first island chain. For 70 years, the U.S. has had an interest in ensuring that a friendly government controls the territory of Taiwan and that the People's Liberation Army cannot use it as a base to project power out into the Western Pacific. Third, Taiwan is a powerful symbol of the U.S.'s enduring commitment to the free and liberal world. Taiwan is not an Afghanistan or an Iraq. It is already a liberal democracy. And in per capita income terms, it is equal to Germany and even richer than Japan today. American support is directly responsible for that prosperity. It is a shining example of how being part of the US-led liberal capitalist world order can increase freedom and prosperity for everyone. Finally, a thriving Taiwan is proof that democracy is not incompatible with Chinese culture or values. The biggest prize of all for the U.S. would be to have China follow Taiwan's lead and to transition to a market economy and a liberal democracy. Abandoning Taiwan to the authoritarian Communist People's Republic of China across the Taiwan Strait would mean walking away from a 72-year commitment. It would weaken or destroy the credibility of American alliances with Japan, with the Philippines, and with South Korea, and to other countries in the world facing pressure from authoritarian governments. Defending Taiwan is not an impossible task. The military threat from the PRC has steadily increased over the past two decades, but with the right strategy, it remains feasible for Taiwan and the United States together to deter military aggression and to maintain peace and stability across the strait. The CCP's insistence that it will pay any price and bear any burden to achieve unification is remarkably self-serving, and it is intended to persuade the US and partners and allies simply to walk away from Taiwan without a fight. But in reality, China does not need Taiwan. It has survived and prospered for 70 years without exercising political control. And there is no reason 
why Beijing must seek to conquer Taiwan today.